Yo guys, Blue's not here, and welcome back to another video. Now, you might think that I am actually kind of like on holiday right now because of this kind of hotel setting. Well, the truth is, I'm actually not on holiday. I'm actually at Burlingame, which is very close to where I live. And the reason why you probably think, why am I in this hotel right now, and why am I staying a night here, is because I won a prize in like a school play that I went back on Thursday, where they gave me like a free night here at the Burlingame Marriott here at the near the. San Francisco International Airport so you know I, I obviously have to accept it I might as well just stay here one night see how it's gonna go but yeah I mean you know obviously that's not what this video is about this video is gonna be about the situation with David Bingham where there's multiple sources that has been linking him to go to the Los Angeles Galaxy and this source uh well this deal hasn't really been confirmed yet but it looked like it is going to be confirmed in the next couple of days and i just wonder what is it with this team keep selling some of our player to our biggest rival i mean there is one rule in football you should never do and that is sell some of your player to your biggest rival and this is the third times that this is happening with the quakes first it was landon donovan then it was alan gordon and now it's going to be david bingham although to be fair with the david Bingham situation and how he moving to to another team and he will not potentially be with the Quakes next season is not really a big surprise. I mean, many Quakes fans, including myself, saw this one coming. Many people think that, you know, eventually we have to maybe trade him to another club and also the reason why we did not put him on the unprotection list in the expansion draft is that at least we were going to keep him and then maybe later on on we're going to like trade him it's not because we're going to like keep him for next season it's because we want to protect him so that we can like trade him and maybe get like a like some T some TAM kind of allocation money or maybe another player from another club. Well, it turns out that we are going to trade him to LA Galaxy and there's also saying, uh, according to like the source, it says that we're going to get like around 200000 to 250000 in terms of TAM money, which, you know, it's, it's, a decent amount of kind of TAM money. Remember, we already got like about 200000 from the Marco Arena deal where, you know, we got a couple of, well, actually, we didn't get any TAM money, but we kind of clear up some space in terms of the salary cap. So, really, now we should have many, many money, or not many, but we should have like a lot of money to spend doing this winter transfer window, and we should sign some more player, and we have signed some more player in this, but one other thing that I will say about this is that, you know, I'll, I'll be happy the fact that we will get some uh, target, uh, uh, or not target, but TAM money in return of this deal, but one thing I will say is that I'd rather us get maybe like a player from LA Galaxy. Maybe we should get like, you know, if we're going to have to trade at least one player from the Galaxy, I would want to see Sebastian Legette coming back to the Quakes. Remember, Legette is from this area. So, you know, if he come, I, I would love to see him come back with the Quakes. And I think he was with the Quakes. I'm not... I, forgot was he with the quakes academy a couple of years ago but i would love to see him coming back maybe we can like do a tray where they can have david bingham and then we can have sebastian legit and that would be a very good addition in terms of our front free um but you know i just think that if we do get some uh, some tam money then you know we definitely it definitely can help us a little bit and also we really kind of like i think with the goalkeeper that we have since we have now have like four goalkeeper it's pretty clear that we had to get rid of one i mean there's not a lot of teams in the mls has four goalkeeper i mean after we signed jt marcinkowski it was pretty clear that david bingham was going to to leave that probably that deal was probably the final nail in the coffin in terms of whether or not if this deal actually will happen during this winter so yeah it's gonna be interesting for me i'm kind of happy that you know david bingham is joining another club mainly because i just don't think that he he just does not look interest in joining with the quakes remember how a couple of um i'm not sure if i mentioned this in my in one of my match review but i told you guys how you know when i went to quakes game and how you know how i always go to like near the the bottom part of the terrace near avaya stadium and every time when i go there i can see like the players training especially where the goalkeeper are training well it seemed like every single game i see 
David Bingham training and doing the pregame. He just looked really distracted. He looked very kind of disinterested. He looked really kind of sad, almost like he doesn't want to be with the team anymore. And it was pretty clear that at that point he was going to leave. And also there was a couple of uh, Reddit posts that also tell, tell me about how you know, every game ever since he got dropped from being the backup goalkeeper, it seemed like he always left uh, the bench early. He never likes to go onto the field. You know how the players usually go on the field, like kind of like congratulate their fans and stuff like that. Well, he never does it. He always leaves early. And it was the same case in that last game of the season where, you know, all the players were like, they were celebrating, they were opening champagne. Well, he wasn't part of it. And I think he was like the only player that wasn't part of the celebration. So it's pretty big hint that he was going to to move eventually and like I said it's this I'm kind of disappointed that he is going with the galaxy hopefully this move does not haunt us back the fact that he's all of a sudden going to be very good with the galaxy I mean I think David Bingham is a good goalkeeper you know he had one bad year and that's the reason why he's been pushed out but still you know I'm just really hoping this does not come back to bite us later on and yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of this situation do you think it was a good idea that David David Bingham is moving with the Quakes and you know do you think that it's a great idea for the Quakes to once again sell another player that is is to the LA Galaxy and what's interesting about David Bingham to the two other players that we sold to the Galaxy is that David Bingham is actually from this area the other player uh, Landon Donovan I heard Remember, he's like from the LA area. I think he's from Ontario or something like that. And then um, Alan Gordon is actually from Long Beach. So they're from Southern California. It kind of makes sense, the fact that they, they of course, go want to go back to, to their hometown area. But it kind of doesn't make sense, the fact that, you know, uh, David Bingham, who is from the Bay Area, I forgot which part he is from. But, you know, he's from this area. And the fact that he is now moving down to Southern California, it's... It's kind of interesting i don't know but either way i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and oh i i didn't mention this but i do apologize the fact that i haven't uploaded a lot of video i have a lot of finals to do in these last couple of days so that's why i haven't got a lot of time to do these kind of videos and stuff like that but either way i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah i will see you guys next time